Good afternoon or good morning wherever you are in this lovely world, my brothers and my sisters in the Lord. How are you? I hope everybody is doing good. As a matter of fact, I pray that you're doing more than good. When you realize what we are a part of, we are a part of something that is bigger than life. As a matter of fact, when you think about it, we're a part of a creator that created us, okay, and knew us before we were even born. I know. And the more I go to church and attend Bible study and go to women's Bible study groups and fill my head with 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 him with with a magnificent creator that loves me not only does he love me and accept me for who I am faults flaws you know, in Romans, I believe it's in Romans, it says everybody falls short of the glory of God. Everybody! That means nobody is perfect. Only one. And his name is Jesus. And that's why I have the sign behind me that says, Jesus loves you! Because it's so true. It is so true. And and once once you accept that and understand that and realize that, you know what? I just can't comprehend it. Because even now, I just can't comprehend it. How can he love me? I am like the biggest sinner, and and he makes me feel like I'm the biggest winner. And the reason why he makes me feel like I'm the biggest winner is because when you open your mouth and share the good news, and share your pain, and share your struggles, and what he's brought you through. Not only are you able to touch a life, but you're able to witness. You're able to share his love. You're able to share his power. You're able to, to show people that, that have no idea what life is all about. It's not about your money. It's not about your house, your car. It's not about that perfect little family that everybody thinks is so perfect. You know, it's not about your status at work. It's not about your doctorate degree. It's not about any of that. All God wants to do is work through you for his glory. That's it. That is it. And when you understand that and 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 you go, you know what? I want to be a part of that. That's when your your eyes are opened. That's, that's when you're like, wow, I didn't see it like that. I, I didn't know life was, you know, um, more than um, partying and, and more than this. And, and, you know, people are so messed up. Seriously. I mean, raise your hand if you were so messed up and then you found Jesus. I, you know, that's me! 
I am actually, just to let you guys know, I am a mess with a message. I, I am, I'm serious. The Lord found me when I was at my worst in life. When I was at my worst, I was making money, I had a lot of friends, and then I got in trouble, and I was looking around like, where's my friends? You know, it, it, it's like the prodigal son. When you got a bunch of money, you know, you got a lot of friends. And then when you're like, I don't have any money, you know, it's like, then your friends like start going, well, you know, that she's all used up. And I was like, oh my gosh, really? How superficial. That is so superficial. And I just want to let you guys know, we live in a superficial world. It's not real without Jesus. See, people want to search other people out to see what they can get from them, to use them, abuse them, you know, string them along for what... I'm serious, I know, because I... I've been strung along. It's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling. And then you find Jesus. And then you, and then you got you, and then something happens inside and you're like, you know what? Whatever she's got, I want. Because I, you know, I sometimes, sometimes I don't have two nickels to rub together. And then a brother or a sister out there in the world, you know, they, you know, they donate to me ten bucks, twenty bucks. You know, people at people at church, I tell them, oh, I do a YouTube channel. It's kind of weird. It's kind of different because, you know, in church I have a different face. You know, I mean, I'm still the same person, but, you know, you don't, you don't share your personal life with people you don't know because a, a lot of people tend to take that and twist it around and then throw it back in your face. You know what I mean? Seriously, even even best friends will do that to you. They're your best friends, and then they see you mess up, and then ten years later, they they're like, "Well, remember when you did this? Remember remember when you didn't have a place to stay, and and I let you sleep on my couch?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I remember." Thanks for reminding me, <laughs> you, you know, and sometimes I'm like, I, I didn't do that. And they're like, uh, yeah, you did. Uh, you know, so thank God for those people that remind me that I'm a mess. And I just, that, that makes me that much closer to Jesus because he doesn't remind me. He doesn't. He doesn't remind me of where I came from or what I did or, you know, how I did this. He actually helped me because I don't know what I got to go through next week, let alone tomorrow. But he does. I know. I love him. I love Jesus so much because he knows. He knows what you're going through. He knows what I'm going through. And everybody's going through something. And if, you, and if you're sitting out there on YouTube land like, well, I don't have any problems. Well, you know what? Maybe today life is all peachy keen and rosy. But maybe in a month, you're going to be feeling some pains and go to the doctor, 
words and they're going to go, oh, guess what? We just found out that, you know, after testing this and test, you got this. You know, life has a, a weird way of, of, of just, you know, taking these pompous people that think that life is a bowl of cherries and I ain't got no problems. And then all of a sudden you do. Who you gonna call? I call on Jesus every morning because every day is a gift. Every day is a gift where you can share, where you can witness, where you can say, don't feel bad. He knows everything. He went through everything. By his stripes, we are healed. Jesus was God in the flesh. People don't understand that the King of Kings left his heavenly, okay? Think about it. Can you imagine being a king, looking at your creation that you love so dearly, and, and then knowing that there's an enemy called Satan, okay? Satan was an angel, and he got so proud. And then he got this thought in his mind that he was going to be higher than God. He was going to be praised more than God. He was going to take all God's glory. As a matter of fact, he took a third of God's angels. I don't understand how an angel working and, 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 and knowing that they wouldn't exist without Almighty God, how they could turn their back on Almighty God and start working for the devil. So see, people don't understand this life is a spiritual battle. People don't understand. It's like it's like we're like this. Half of us, half of us, if you understand anything, please get this. Half of us are spiritual, and the other half is carnal. And they are fighting every single day. They are! I should know because I, I, I live it every day and you do too. You just don't know that no matter what you do, Jesus still loves you. It even says in the Bible, while we were still sinners, he died for us. About that. While we were sinners, he still died and shed his blood for us to give us everlasting life. That's why, if you're going to be addicted to anything, you might as well get addicted to Jesus. I'm serious! Because the more you get it, I've got an addictive personality. If it makes me feel good, I want more. And when I feel bad, I think about Jesus. And I'm like, oh my gosh! How can you love me after I did that? And he's like, I just do. I made you. I know, I know you don't really think things out, you know? You don't think about consequences. A lot of us don't. I mean, think about it. People go out, they drink, 
they're feeling like, oh, I can get home. Then they get in a car accident. And then they're in jail. You know, people just don't think things through. But when you're going through it, and you get these fines, and you got to go to court, and, you know, maybe you, you know, maybe it was um, manslaughter, and you didn't mean to, maybe it was a hit and run, and, and so now you're on the run, and, you know, you, you don't know what life is going to throw at you, but he does, and he walks you through it. Jesus walks us through our pain and our mistakes and our mess ups and our divorces and and this and the and the stupid relationships we get ourselves. You know, the Lord Jesus, the King of Kings, has brought me through so much. I, I just can't shut my mouth about it. I just, you know, it's like, oh, glory to God in heaven. You're so worthy to be praised because I'm a mess with the message. Jesus loves you. He loves you today. He loved you yesterday. He's going to love you more tomorrow. Well, I don't know about that because his love is like, everlasting and it never goes away he's the he never changes i mean think about it he's the best relationship to be in a relationship with you know he don't care if you're poor he don't care if you're rich all he cares about is your heart and your spirit and whose side are you on? Are you on the devil's side or are you on his side? Because if you're truly on his side, you want to bring the lost to the cross and explain it to them. You need Jesus. That's, that, you know, that's why I love the word Christmas. And I always, at, at this time, especially, You'll hear me in December. If you take if you take the beginning of the word Christmas, you got Christ. Okay? If you take the ending of that word, M A S. In Espanol, it means more. More. Mas. Mas. More. So then when you think about it, it's like, I need more of Jesus Christ. I need more of Jesus. And, and that's the message. I know. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy to fall in love. It's so easy to fall in love. I mean, if you're going to fall in love and not ever get burned, seriously, think about it. If you're ever going to fall in love, fall in love with your first love who died for you. That's, that's all I'm saying. And that's my message. Because I'm a mess. And he still loves me. And I got to go. Seriously. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. Don't forget the reason for the season. It's not about presents and money. It's not about donations from this person or $5 from this person or whatever. It's not about that. It's about Jesus. So I love you. I hope this encourages and blesses someone. And you know what? 2017 is right around the corner. So... If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and tell a friend that Jesus loves them. Bye.